John, be honest, what was that like for you having to watch? Probably worse watching, I think. <laughs> incredible, incredible. The lads were fantastic. Uh, first half, second half. You know, the, the, when it goes to penalties as well, it's amazing how the momentum swings. And once they miss their second one, that was it. You know, it was always going our way. In many ways, though, you're not surprised because it's been typical of Chelsea's roller coaster season. Yeah, I mean, when you look at it, 3-1 down against Napoli uh, in the quarters, and then Benfica as well. Everyone sort of ruled us out early on in this competition as well, and we've come back even today. You know, they scored in the 83rd minute. Didier comes up with a goal, they miss a penalty. You look at the Barcelona game as well, and you know, sometimes things are meant to be, and I'm, I'm so happy that it's, it's meant to be Chelsea this year. Tell us about the unity in this squad and what Roberto Di Matteo created, because after Napoli, it was in bits, wasn't it? No, it was. I mean, when you look at the away game, you know, it was, it was a, you know, do or die game for us, and. You know, this competition means a world to this, to this football club. You see the fans today, what it means to them. I mean, so many Chelsea fans back home as well have not made the trip. Unfortunately, not been able to get the ticket, but everyone here is thinking of them and thanks to every Chelsea support for their support. Of course, you'd have loved to play tonight, but yourself, Ramirez, of course, and Branislav Ivanovic, all, and Morales, of course, all played your part leading up to tonight. Yeah, different ball game. I mean, you spoke about Robbie as well, about having, you know, um, you know, big nights, big occasions, big players, and we had, you know, young Ryan come in and was fantastic as well. And the manager showed great faith in the younger players. And not many managers, you know, in, in Robert's position would have put a young player like Ryan in. But when, when Ryan's come in, he's been superb and what's the night? In terms of uh, job applications or interviews, surely you can't do any better than that. Two trophies, the one we've, we've been after for so long. The, I mean, the owner was in tears up there. That's how much it means to him. You know, who knows? He's been, he's been brilliant. You know, the players and, and, the, and the fans, we can't ask for no more than what he's done. And the fact that you were included as well up there to pick up the trophy with Frank as well, does that mean a lot to you? Uh, it means the world to me, you know, it's a great touch from Frank as well. It's a, it's a really nice gesture from UEFA as well. So, you know, I think they realise what it means to the players as well. It's an unfortunate situation that we that I put myself in. Um, unfortunate for the players on yellow cards as well. But, you know, a great night like, like this, you have to be involved. I'm sure that won't spoil your night tonight. Well done, John. Thanks, yeah. Thank you.